fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. All right, coming up next, it is our main event, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight title. So here she is making the walk to the octagon for her first UFC championship fight. She has certainly taken out a who's who of Bantamweight contenders, and now the final woman in line is the incumbent Bantamweight champion of the world. A lot of people, Joe, believe her style matches up well with the champion. Your thoughts on what she brings to the table here? As she makes her way to the octagon right now, her preparation has been perfect. She is in fantastic shape. She is focused. She is motivated. And she believes she will leave this cage tonight as the new champion of the world. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. The champion is making her way to the cage right now. Her preparation for this title bout has been absolutely according to plan. She is focused, she is in great shape, motivated and determined to step in here and put on a championship level performance and retain her title. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. More than five years apart, some differences in height and reach. Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lovin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. All right, here we go, UFC women. Wow! She might try to finish this oh. fight here. Oh. That's it, she's out. That's gonna do it. Wow, what a knockout. Beautiful KO for the victory early in the first. Yeah, Joe, how about the knockout there? Beautiful technique to land the fight ending shot. And again, we're a broken record when it comes to this, but sometimes when you catch a fighter cold, maybe before she's had a chance to get herself into the fight, that strike can have a bigger effect. It certainly did here tonight. Let's take a look at it one more time. Here's the knockdown, vicious strike. Great angle here. Ba-boom! So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 16 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout and Congratulations to the fighter and to her team as she becomes a new 
UFC champion of the world here tonight. And she saved her best performance for last. And I probably shouldn't say last because she'll want to turn around and defend this title in short order. But tonight, the celebration is on as she becomes a UFC. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend at Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe. As she fought the fight of her life, said and knew. And she was crowned UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World thanks to a memorable referee stoppage. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.